In this lesson, we'll try to tie all the concepts we've learned related to polynomial graphs together to sketch a graph ourselves. Here's the equation for the polynomial we'll be graphing in factored form. y equals negative x plus 1 squared times x minus 2 times x minus 3. Now, the order that we determine the graphable characteristics in doesn't matter, so how about we start with what's easiest from this form, the roots and multiplicities. Note that in the future, you may be given an equation in standard form and have to do the factoring yourself to determine the roots and multiplicities. Anyways, the factor x plus 1 gives the root x equals negative 1, and appears twice, so this root has a multiplicity of 2. 2 is even, so we expect the graph to bounce off the axis at x equals negative 1. Let's draw a horizontal tick at x equals negative 1 on the axis to help us remember the graph will touch but not cross the axis at this point. Next, the factor x minus 2 gives the root x equals 2 and appears once, so this root has a multiplicity of 1. 1 is odd, so we expect the graph to cross through the axis at x equals 2. Let's draw a vertical tick at x equals 2 on the x-axis to help us remember the graph will cross through the axis at this point. Finally, the factor x minus 3 gives the root 3 and also appears once so this root has a multiplicity of 1 as well, meaning the graph will cross through the axis at x equals 3. Again, we'll draw a vertical tick at this root, x equals 3, to help us remember the graph will cross through the axis here. Next, let's determine the y-intercept. We can do this by substituting 0 in for all the x's. This leaves us with a negative times 1 squared times negative 2 times negative 3, which is equal to negative 6. I'll put a dot on the y-axis at y equals negative 6 to help us remember the plot will cross through it at this value. Next, let's determine the sign of the leading coefficient and the degree of this polynomial, so we can determine its end behavior. Starting with the sign of the leading coefficient, multiplying the signs of the leading coefficients of all the factors yields a negative, from the factor negative 1 out front, times 4 positives remembering the positive from the leading coefficient of the factor x plus 1 squared appears twice because it is squared. So, the product is negative. On to the degree, adding the multiplicities of all the factors yields 2 plus 1 plus 1, from the factors of x plus 1 squared, x minus 2, and x minus 3, respectively. The sum of these multiplicities is 4, so the degree of our polynomial is 4, an even number. Combining these two pieces of information tells us that our graph will start down and end down, or open down. I'll draw a couple arrows to help us remember, like so. Okay, with that, we have all the information we need to begin sketching. Basically, now we're playing connect the dots with all the information we've marked on the grid. I like to move from left to right, so we'll start by joining the end behavior arrow and the mark we made on the x-axis at x equals negative 1. Remember, the graph won't cross the x-axis here because this root has an even multiplicity. Next, we'll join the mark at x equals negative 1 with the dot we made to represent the y-intercept, like so. Next, because we know polynomial curves are smooth without sharp corners, we'll continue the graph downwards before turning it around smoothly to come to the root at x equals 2. Now, we'll continue the upward motion through the x-axis, since we know the graph crosses over at this root, and turn around to go back through the root at x equals 3. Finally, we'll continue the downward motion to the end behavior arrow on the right. That's it! We've sketched an approximation of this function from the characteristics we determined from its equation. Here's the actual plot of the function. As you can see, our approximation was very close. If it had been a little further off, that would be okay too, as long as we had the x and y intercepts and end behavior correct. This may seem a little daunting right now, but you have the skills to do questions like this on your own. Make sure to practice and you'll get the hang of it in no time. 